Hi kids! Today we will learn changing states of matter. So let's get started. Kids, we know everything around us is made up of one or the other form of matter. And the three states of matter are solids, liquids, and gas. Gases have no specific shape, no specific volume, and no specific mass. Liquids have fixed volume, fixed mass, but no specific shape. And solids have specific mass, shape, and volume. Now let's see how one phase of matter changes to another state. Here we have some ice. Ice is in which state of matter? It is solid state of matter. But when it's heated, it changes into water, which is liquid state of matter. So melting changes solid state of matter into liquid state of matter. Now when water is further heated, it changes into water vapors, which is gaseous form of matter. So we learnt heating, then ice changes ice to water, that is solid state to liquid state. And heating water changes water to water vapors. That is liquid state to gaseous state. You can also convert them back. Let's see how. If you cool down steam, steam changes into water. That is gaseous state to liquid state and cooling down water changes it into ice. That is, liquid changes into solid state of matter again. Let's see it with an experiment. Take a glass of hot water from which steam is coming out. Now place a lid to cover it and put some ice on the lid. This ice will cool down the steam and the steam changes back to tiny drops of water that you can see on the lid. Another easy experiment is take a chilled glass of water or any drink you like what you see after some time, there are tiny droplets of water outside the glass. How and from where do they appear? Let's learn. There are always some water present in air in the form of gas. And when this air comes in contact with a very cold glass, the vapors in air cools down and changes into water again. Now we know how gas changes into water. Now we all know if we cool down water or freeze it, water again changes into ice. So when one state of matter changes to another state of matter, it is called phase change. Melting, freezing, evaporation, condensation are all phase changes. Melting, conversion of a solid into water. Example, ice, changing into water is called melting. Melting happens when a solid absorbs some heat. 
Heat gives energy to particles in solids. And they start moving faster and slide around each other. And the solid melts. As we know, in solids, particles cannot move and slide around each other. But in liquid, they can. And because of the heat, they get, they start moving. And we say solids changed to liquid. Freezing. Conversion of water into ice is called freezing. Freezing is also called solidification. And this happens when heat is released from the liquid. And as a result, particles slows down as they cannot move. And this liquid changes into solids. Evaporation. Conversion of liquid into gas is called evaporation. That is, heating water produces steam. What actually happens is, Heating a liquid gives more energy to particles of liquid, which starts moving even faster, which is the characteristic of gas. So liquid turns into a gaseous state. Condensation. Conversion of gas into liquid is called condensation. Appearance of tiny droplets of water outside the glass of chilled drinks is an example of condensation. Condensation happens when heat is released from a gas and the particle slows down like the particles in a liquid. So kids, today we learned about phase changes. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.